Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a tireless educator, motivational speaker, author of five best-selling books, and financial expert who is here to help get our finances in order. <laughs> yes, God, and I'm happy he's here. Please welcome to the show Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. Woohoo! Wow. <laughs> oh, thanks for you? having me. Oh, thanks for being here. I'm, yeah. I'm going to tell you, first of all, I am like a penny saver. Okay. Not a penny hoarder, okay. but I like to watch every dime that comes in and out. I'm talking about I'm a pie chart person. You. I'm a pie charter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, okay, you received your doctorate from uh, Northwestern University where you studied wealth and poverty. Wow. So why was it important to focus on underserved communities? Well, you know, I'm a Johnny come lately. I haven't done anything mm. special with my life. Uh, back in 1897, Black America's most prolific scholar, W.B. Du Bois, yeah. wrote that seminal book, The Negro in Business. Mm -hmm. You read the first 30 pages of that book, and he has two profound statements. He says, number one, the man or woman who won't control his or her finances won't control anything else. Ooh. So when he says anything else, that means if you don't care about the money in your pocket or your purse, ladies, what do you care about uh, how well your community is doing? Mm -hmm. What do you care about education? What do you care about health care? What do you care about your neighbor? And then number two, he said nothing positive will ever occur in a community that fails to circulate its dollars. Mm -hmm. Circulation begins with yourself first. Yes. Right, and we've seen that in a number of the African American communities where, you know, the businesses once were thriving, you know, mm -hmm. in the 60s and the 70s, and then now we're in our 2000s and the businesses are gone, they're no longer. And uh, you know what, people make the mistake, and I'm not saying that the average uh, American is racist or biased or anything of like that, but what I am saying is that they're uninformed. Okay. It's not like black America went to sleep on Monday and woke up Tuesday and our neighborhoods were blighted, right. whatever. We live in a, you know, Charles Dickens wrote the seminal classic, Tale of Two Cities. Mm -hmm. Well, here in Atlanta, we got a tale of uh, two heads. Mm -hmm. You got Buckhead, yes. where all the kids want to be wealth creators, entrepreneurs, millionaires, billionaires. And you got Bankhead, mm -hmm. where they want to be athletes, entertainers, and rap stars. Mm -hmm. So prosperity begins in the mind, but ends in the purse. And the only mm. thing we have to do is just exchange the data on the diskettes. And why do you think that information is, is missing? It's skipping over the African-American community. Why do you think that is? Well, all you got to do is look at the data. And the data says that almost half of black America is either below the poverty line or at the poverty line. So ladies, what does that mean? It means the average African-American, as soon as he or she wakes up in the morning, is in survival mode. Mm. Just get through this day. day. Won't worry about anything right. else. Ugh. Were you gonna say something? Go ahead. I, I, go ahead. I, go ahead. I, I know that these are these are not on the card. I'm sorry. Do, do you find that okay when you're saying 50%? and under are either at the poverty level or below. Do you feel that that stem, stems, from, uh, stems from not having education? What do you think oh, yeah, that derives yeah, yeah. from? Oh, yes, education is the key. And there's okay. two forms of education. I'm an educator, so I, I use the formal education with my kids at, at CAU. You know, but there's also informal education, okay. which is a part of lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. You know, so the key is to take in the, uh, the information. Mm -hmm. Capitalism is not a dirty word. You take the word capitalism, write it on a piece of paper, C-A-P-I-T-I-L-I-S-M. You know, it just means that everything is for sale. Mm -hmm. That's all it means. But you take the Latin derivative okay. of the word capitalism, C-A-P-U-T, what does it mean in Latin? It means head. Mm -hmm. What's the one thing you must use in order to survive in a free and open society? You must use your okay. head. Mm. Well, speaking of using our head, we're going to play a quick little game. Okay. We're going to play a little game. I like little We're going to play a financial ready <laughs> game. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have these little true and false paddles here. Okay. Yep. You got them, Trina. And you, there, there you go. Okay. 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 Do I get one? You, but oh, yes. You have to get her uh, one, too. We oh, only no. get two. You don't get to answer your okay. question. No, right. you don't get to answer your question. You're going to pitch the question to us, and we're going to get them back Okay, here we go. Okay. You ask us the questions. Oh, sorry about that. All right. Is it too late to file your taxes? No, no, that's Not. false because you can ask for an extension. You can ask for, for an extension. extension. They give you a six okay. month extension and go to the IRS website, and uh, but their penalties may yeah. apply. Now here's the key. There are extenuating circumstances. For instance, if you work in the military, mm -hmm. they'll give you, they might give you a, 
an extra 180 days. If you live uh, in a community that had a disaster, a hurricane, you know, they might give you an extension also with that. So, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, let's one. extend to question two. Yeah. Second question. Uh, the median income, excuse me, the median net worth of blacks is one tenth of whites. One tenth. I think that might be true. Yeah, is, you're exactly right. I it think is that true. Might be Unfortunate, true. but yep, true. The, the median net worth of uh, white Americans is about $170,000. For African Americans, it's about $17,000. So wow. yes, we, we have we have some work to do in terms of financial literacy. And one when we talk about net income and net worth, you know, it's not how much you make. Okay. It's I how much you keep. How yeah. much you okay. And that's the way that you are to measure your net that's worth. Right. Okay, let's go to the are next one. Are you ready? Here Number we go. Uh, and here it is again. The key to wealth is based on income. No, because we just said it's about how much you keep. Uh, you're exactly right. I, I have a seven-year study. It's called uh, my fifth book. It's called um, Success Secrets of Black Millionaires. And one thing that they had in common, they all came from families that had a household income. Well, not all, but so many came from families with a household income of less than $20,000. Wow. So what am I saying, ladies? They're the product of being self-made men and, and women. women. Yes. Again, it's not what you earn, it's, it's what, what you, you keep. keep. Assets minus liabilities. Yes. Okay, I think we can fit one more question in here. And last but not least, America is no longer the land of opportunity. I think that's false. That's still. absolutely false. You're right. That's false. You're false. And, and opportunity is all around us. Exactly. It and opportunity land. exists, and it exists in your area of excellence. Mm -hmm. Find out what you like to do, what yes. you love to do, and what you have a passion for. And that's why you're so good, because ladies, yes. you've got a passion for this. We sure do. And it you. starts here. But we, we thank both you like so much. Saving money. Yes, we well, a lot. But thank <laughs> you so much for being me. here. Be sure to follow him on social media and pick up one of his many best-selling books at DennisCambro.com. 